Welcome to our first creative how-to video. My name is Sarah Meehan. I'm the marketing manager here at Stampington & Company. And I'm Vanessa Spencer and I'm the shop manager here at Stampington. Today we're going to be making these heart on a string ornaments using techniques created by Claudine Helmuth. Vanessa and I have each created different versions using different techniques and we're going to show you each version in detail. And we're using the Claudine Helmuth Studio line by Ranger Inc. The products include acrylic paints, sticky back canvas, mediums, and brushes. And all these products are available at stampington.com at the Shop at Somerset in the Art and Crafting Essentials section. Okay, so to make my version, I started by taking a stamp and applying multi-medium to the back of it, stamping it onto a blank canvas. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because it's clear. Once it dries, you're going to end up with a sheet that you can't see the image on, but you're going to take some diluted acrylic paint, I'm using a dash of red here, and you're going to paint it onto the canvas and your image will appear as it dries. You can start to see it's coming through. Okay. Vanessa's going to show the next step and also how to do her technique. Okay. I started with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of the sticky back canvas and I used the a dash of red acrylic paint, painted the entire sheet and you may find that when you're painting it that your edges will tend to curl up a little bit so a good tip is just to use something to as a placeholder on each corner so that it dries completely flat. And once it's dried you're going to flip it over and I have a heart that I had cut out to use as my template. So you're just going to go ahead and trace out your hearts and then you're going to just go ahead and cut out your hearts using the Tim Holtz uh, Scissors by Tonic Studio. I already have some hearts that have been pre-cut. The next step is to use the circle stamp from the Michelle Ward Swirl acrylic stamp set, which I have right here on an acrylic block, and the black stays on ink. And then on a piece of canvas that has been painted with the painterly pink, you're just going to go ahead and stamp a bunch of black swirls, like so. And then from there, you're just going to go ahead and, and cut out the so, uh, circle swirls. And I already have some pre-cut ones here. And then the next step is just to go ahead and peel the back of your circles and start placing them onto your hot ornament. So the next step is, uh, in order to create your finished ornament, you're going to take one of your hearts and peel the paper backing off. Okay. You're going to get a length of the scrapper's floss and place that onto the inside of your ornament and you're going to secure it with a small piece of tape. You're going to add a ball of stuffing to the center and peel the back off of your second heart. And then you're going to work it around the edges and seal the outside of your ornament, tucking the stuffing as you go so that it makes a nice seal. And you have your finished ornament. Okay. Um, just some helpful hints. Uh, this is the finished product for my ornament right here. And if you want to make it a little bit more three-dimensional or uh, you know, if it's a larger ornament like this one, uh, you may find that the edges are a little bit harder to seal. So I just took some of the multi-medium and just painted a little bit inside the edges to seal it shut. And to hold the edges in place, I just used paper clips to hold it while it was drying. So once your ornament is dried, you can just take the paper clips off and it's sealed. Um, also, just remember to save any scraps that you have left over from cutting out all your, your templates and your hearts and your circles because you can always use those in future projects. We hope we've inspired you with this charming Valentine's Day project. Join us again soon for another creative how-to project from Stampington & Company.